I want to start by thanking everybody for your prayers. The Lord is doing miracles, supernatural miracles, not just with my health, but with all circumstances that are allowing me to continue to bring you these messages. So please continue to pray. It is so appreciated. We're all in together. And this is the best or one of the best forms of brotherly and sisterly love for each other. And this is what we're commanded to do. So again, thank you. I hope everybody got a chance to watch the calendar series. I think it's very special and very important and one that we definitely want to share with others. But in the meantime, I've received further revelation, which is really incredible. I'm going to do my best to post this out as soon as possible. There's many things happening, including organizing a Zoom call, which a lot of you have applied for. I'm going to do my best to see if we can do it this weekend. But watch out for the next series because the next series further gives us insight into that calendar with even more confirmations and a possible very clear direction. So pay attention to that. As always, I don't do this for my own merit. And I'm reminding you that our, your authority is the Bible, the Word of God. This is for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I do this out of obedience. Under whatever circumstances, I'm going to be here until the very last day. Continue to do the work that the Lord has so generously allow me to do. So keep this in mind and return to the Bible for the truth. The first message I received on March 3rd, 2023 at 7.34 p.m. I'm going to skip the first part. The message says, By my will and by my power, all things move, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. All things proceed from me. The white cloud rises in the west. As I explained to you, son, fear not. For the end is not yet for those who follow the son of perdition. But you shall come home first. According to my word, all is well for those who follow my commands. Right, son, one more at last. Write that I love you. I'm here. Lord Jesus, Yeshua. Amen. Share the message, son. And he was finished at 7. 48 p.m. For this message, I looked up the Strong's for 734, 734, and the word is a way, a path, as well as 748, and the answer is high priestly. The second message I received on 313.23 at 608 p.m. It says, you're not cut off, son. I love you. You are my precious stone, worry not. Your health is in my hands. You do not need to see a doctor. I am restoring your health. I have restored you fully, son, fear not. You're in my hands. The rapture, the catching away is soon, son. Fear not, all will be well. I have restored you. You are washed by my blood. All your sins are forgiven. Fear not, I hold you in the palm of my hand. Worry not, salvation draw it near, even now. There is no more time. I work miracles, and your faith has saved you. Write, son, that I come quickly, and soon you will be with me. The rapture is coming. Fear not, I love you, son, Abba, Lord God, Jesus, Yeshua, Holy Spirit. Amen. For this message, the Lord gave me some scripture. Matthew 16, 1, Amos 3, 6, Isaiah 44, 1, Luke 4, 15. The same day, which was Monday, as I was teaching my class, I actually felt extremely sick at the end of the class. I had to lay on the floor. And the brothers and sisters that were there so graciously we're praying for me over and over and over. When my wife came to pick me up, she took me straight to the emergency room. Well, I was checked in by the nurse. She checked on my vitals and they were perfect. We then decided to come home without seeing a doctor. I'm now in perfect condition, in great health. This is a supernatural move of the Lord, which was proven and foretold in the message I just read. 
me. I hope this message blessed you. Continue to draw nearer to the Lord. This is the time not to lose faith, not to lose hope. I hope this message blessed you. Draw near to the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.